this right here is a Volvo V&A uh, 760. I'm not sure what year it is. Uh, 2021, I suppose. Anyway, uh, this Volvo V&L has 600,000 miles. And um, the problem that we have with this V&L is then the driver complained on losing power. Uh, but you see this cooling all over the place. Um, um, and these Volvos, they all have the problem then these who straps the lashes here, the striker or whatever that's called, um, doesn't open because of the cables get damaged. So the driver never opened the hood. So in order to open the hood, you have to like strike this with a prey bar from far away like that until this one releases the locking pin over here, which is that one there. Um, but anyway, uh, so the driver never realized that the coolant was leaking because he couldn't open the, the, the hood, right? Um, of course, then while this problem was happening, he was getting the stop red light. Uh, this one right here, that one. So, see, that one stays on. And interestingly, when that is on, the uh, computer disabled region features. That's the reason why the region is on. Because the coolant is low, so the computer will tell you, oh, you know what, don't do region because the engine is running out of coolant. And, uh, yeah, it's telling you. Uh, and of course, right? Yeah, the red light on. Anyway, uh, see so many faults these bubble have. This, this is the problem with the newer trucks. They have so many electronics, then you're gonna have so many faults. Uh, anyway, um, so why is the issue? Well, uh, I added some coolant because it was completely empty, it was completely drained. Didn't have any cooling at all. I'm surprised that this engine was running. Um, and uh, the problem, the actual problem on this is that right there, the coolant pump, you can see it, it's leaking. Leaking to the point, then it is dripping. A lot of coolant from the pump. Uh, very hard to see the coolant leak uh, from the top. See that you can see it right there. So um, that was causing all sorts of problems. Um, because these didn't have any coolant and the sensor was right there. There is the sensor. See it? So the sensor will send the level right here. If the level goes lower than here, it will um, send the signal to the computer to stop the engine. Um, or the engine can suffer major, major damage. Um, in this case, we have a viscous water pump, you see this one has um, thermal cloche, a thermi thermal cloche right here, see this one right here, it's really hard to focus right there, see that's a thermal cloche, then it's operated with temperature, with the fan temperature, so the temperature then is blowing from the radiator, goes to the fan, and then hits these, and it will um, change the speed on the water pump so depending on how cold how hot that's how fast the water pump is gonna run so in this case this is a expensive water pump anyway I will say then if you ever get a problem on your Volvo uh, then it's losing coolant for some reason check 
your current level because this one was completely empty empty completely empty so i had to add two buckets i don't have the buckets here two buckets of fuse coolant i i, I added use coolant because i know i'm gonna drop this coolant so i don't want to waste any money but also don't want to add any water so uh i added two buckets of fuse coolant to see from where the coolant was leaking and the engine took the two buckets just 10 gallons of coolant so this truck had no coolant at all so the driver brought this truck uh all the way from san bernardino to fontana and that's like a 15 miles but that's counting then the coolant was lost at the location in san bernardino but if the engine was running with no coolant this could mean a severe damage to the engine so if you get any problems with your Volvo, please check your coolant because the Volvos don't have <coughs> the ability to shut uh, to do the shutdown, or at least that's what I see. I mean, like uh, I'm not sure because I have seen this truck and didn't shut off on the driver. Uh, and it was just losing power. Very weird. So it means that the engine can just completely overheat and still the engine will run. It's just gonna lose power. I mean, at some point it's lame, but another point is good because uh, it's not gonna leave the driver in the middle of the road, you know? Because sometimes the coolant level uh, is just a little low and the, and the light will come on. Uh, but anyway, um, this is something that I wanted to make about this Volvo, it's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, we're about to replace the water pump and, uh, and see what happens next. See if there is only all the other leaks and we need to do the region uh, and whatever else the truck needs we need to do so that way uh, we fix the issue with this uh, truck so uh, hopefully that's all we are going to repair on this engine and I mean and there is something else we need to repair um, we are going to do a different video so that way you are getting information on this Volvo uh, D13 engine and uh, the adventures of fixing trucks and, and all that. See how much coolant uh, leak is there, see all over. Uh, I'm surprised that the driver didn't even notice that he was leaking coolant. I mean, you can see. But of course, I mean, like, uh, that's the problem with the hood of this Volvo, then it's pretty hard to open. So I, uh, as, as it is, I think this one is just loose. See, right here. Yeah. See, it doesn't have any resistance. So, very bad design of these Volvos. I don't know why they continue on doing that uh, with this crappy ass design and these uh, locks with the Volvos. And they break and it's pretty hard to release the hood and so, so bad. But hmm, this is the way they're designing their stuff and they're not going to change it, I believe, because science. I remember Volvos have this type of design. Uh, but anyway, if you have any questions, uh, comment below. If you have any Volvos, uh, you have a Volvo VNL, uh, just like this one with the D13 engine. Comment below. I mean, it will be good for the uh, viewers to understand more about these engines. And uh, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching.